Today I'll be answering the question, what is Google Trends? So we can see here, this is what Google Trends looks like. We'll come back to the screen, but if we're going over what is Google Trends, it's a free online tool available at trends.google.com. So when you go to this website, you're gonna see the screen I just showed you, and users can research specific topics and search queries. According to Google, it can be used to explore what the world is searching. Google Trends not only gives you what is currently trending in terms of daily news, but you can also see trends overall for specific keywords and topics. So for example, if we're looking at the Google Trend for World Cup, the World Cup is currently happening, so you can see right here it's trending right now, but before the World Cup started, there's not really much interest in there, and that's just looking at the past 90 days worldwide. Now if we come down here and we look at the past five years, we can actually see when the past World Cup was. So something like this that happens once every four years, you can see there's a lot of interest right here where the World Cup's happening. Otherwise, not much interest outside of announcements and kind of news items that come out about the World Cup. And then once it's back on, you can see the interest peaks up here again. So just different ways to look at how things are trending at different times of the year or different times over multiple years. And then the other thing we can look at is the interest by region. So we're still looking at the World Cup here. So you're seeing interest by region. So you can see the regions with the most interest in the World Cup. And then we can see some related topics. So there's 17 top related topics. And then there's 25 top related queries. So this is a great way to come up with different search query ideas, different keyword ideas, and then find other relevant topics based on whatever it is that you're trying to learn more about in terms of trending topics or trending search terms. So some of the things that you can do with Google Trends is topic research, search query research, comparing multiple topics or multiple search queries, also referred to as search terms, search by location. You can look at web search, image search, news search, Google shopping, and YouTube search. You can see the interest in a topic or a search term over time. You can see the interest by specific region and you can also look worldwide. You can see related topics and related search queries for anything that you're researching. You can see trending searches, and you can also see a year in search. So you can go back to 2012, for example, and see what the top things people were searching for that year. So there's a lot of different things you can do with Google Trends, not to mention that you can set up subscriptions. So you get an email either weekly or monthly with whatever is new in your Google Trend. So let's use this tool for a minute just to show what we can do. So let's use my Google Trends example here. I can enter the search term fitness and find all of the most relevant topics and search queries. In addition, I can adjust the search engine to see results for other Google-owned search engines. So let's come over here to Google Trends and let's enter fitness. Now when you enter, you're gonna see fitness as a search term, health, fitness, and wellness as alternative medicine, activity tracker as topic. So these are different topics and fitness right here, I can just look up the search term. You can look up any search term you want not every single one is gonna give you data, but if you're looking up a search term like fitness or exercise or any of these really popular search terms, you're gonna get a ton of different information. We can see here you can compare this to other search terms. So I can compare fitness versus bodybuilding or fitness versus exercise or fitness versus diet and see what gives the most level of interest. Now, the way this interest is looked at is interest over the past 12 months on Google web search. This is looking at all categories. If we go to categories here, you can break it down by some of the other categories. We're gonna leave that open. If we come here, we can look at some of these different search engines, but let's keep what we have right here. You can see the interest over time. So it peaked right here in May to June. So probably while people are trying to get ready for a uh, beach season. So let's see where it starts going down a little bit. So it starts going down a lot of times throughout the holidays and then it picks back up as we get towards New Year's. So. Let's come back down here, interest by subregion, so you can see which subregions have the most level of interest in fitness. And then most importantly, you can see related topics, related queries. So first things first, we'll show you related topics, some of the rising topics here. So O2 Fitness, Pilates, MyFitnessPal, Sauna. These are different topics that are related to fitness that are currently trending. Related queries that are currently trending, Planet Fitness Summer Pass, so there's 25 different search terms here. Now. What's more useful is using the top part here, related topics, seeing some of the top topics related to whatever we enter. So these are the topics that are the most relevant and most popular to fitness. So you can see all of these different topics here. We can click on any of these to get even more information to get the same screen for whatever we click. So I can click on activity tracker and find other related topics and related queries for activity tracker. 
If I go to top, I could see the top related queries to fitness. So you could see LA Fitness, Planet Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness. A lot of these are related to the health club. But as we come over, you're going to see more things like gym, crunch. Let's see if we get any more here. Crunch. Oh, that's another fitness place, I guess. So health, gyms, club fitness. So we're not seeing the greatest thing with fitness, but it's also something that's very, very broad. So as you enter more and more keywords into Google Trends, you can find a lot more ideas and you can do all of these different things using Google Trends. It's completely free. One last thing I want to show you is for something like fitness, we're looking at web search. If I look at YouTube search, you're going to see completely different interest over time. This is completely different information from web search. So it's what people are actually looking for related to the fitness search term in YouTube compared to the web. So as we come down here, interest by subregion, you can see this changed a little bit. So now Utah is the top interest for fitness YouTube. So we keep coming down here, related topics, undercover boss, Dante the body, musical artist. So I don't, I'm not sure what a lot of these things are. So personal trainer in Houston, we can see the top topics, physical fitness, exercise. So where you're going to see different related queries is going to be in YouTube. So you can see here some of these different breakout related queries are different than the ones we saw earlier. And then if we go to top here, you can see fitness workout, workout, fitness blender, fitness marshal. Not sure what a lot of these things even mean. So you may have to do an extra search to figure out what a lot of these things mean. But you can see this is a different way to look at different search terms, different trends. And there's no limit to what you can put on here. So for example, I can put something like luxury SUV and enter that as a search term or as the topic here. Now, if a topic comes up, you should use a topic for Google Trends. And now you can see if I click on luxury SUV, we could see the interest over time for the past 12 months. This is looking at YouTube search again. We're better off looking at web search for this type of keyword. So you're seeing interest over time slowly dipping throughout the year. And then you can see related search queries. Some of the rising search queries is gonna pull out some of these different cars here. Some of the related topics, again, more cars related to these different SUVs, some different topics here. So again, if you have any questions about Google Trends and some of the things you can do, please leave them in the comment section. This was supposed to be a quick overview, how you can do topic research, search query research, and find different information for different search engines in Google. And last but not least, let's finish with this. If we go to trending searches, what you can see with trending searches are daily search trends. You'll get 20 per day and then real time search trends. So generally related to politics, news, sports, business. So that's going to be mostly what's going to be trending. You can adjust by country over here for real time search trends, but and daily search trends as well. But you can find exactly what people are searching every single day. You could even use this as your own news. So. If you have any questions about using Google Trends and some of the different things you can do, please leave them in the comment section. Get started with using this tool today, see if it's helpful for your business. But thank you for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.